Hi guys, welcome back and thanks so much for tuning in for another video. Today I'll be talking about the latest trend of the natural hair community, because you know how us naturals like to be on the latest trend, which is black rice water. I got off the rice water several months ago, not because it didn't work, but because I was becoming consistently inconsistent with it and I had really just got burnt out with the whole rice water craze, plus I was scared my hair was getting protein overload. Then about a month ago, I started seeing black rice and I watched the videos, I did my research to get more information about the difference white rice versus black rice for your hair. So I tried it and although I haven't been on it long enough to see growth, I feel like my hair is a little bit stronger and I've also seen a reduction in my shedding. Black rice is also referred to as forbidden rice or purple rice due to its long fascinating history. Black rice water provides antioxidants and nutrition for protection of scalp and hair. It's considered to help make your hair smooth and glossy. It also provides biotin, vitamin B, along with other proteins necessary for hair growth. I've noticed that the company Sultanicals has a rice vitamin shampoo, which I really, really love, and it also includes black rice as one of the ingredients. In addition to the healthy hair benefits black rice offers and doing more research, I also found it has 18 amino acids, minerals, and vitamins like copper, iron, zinc, and carotene. It's full of antioxidants, protects the heart, can help detoxify the body. It's a good source of fiber, which improves digestive health. It has anti-inflammatory properties, and black rice is good for your eyes. So now that you have the backstory about black rice, I'm gonna show you how I make it and how I apply it to my hair. So without further ado, let's get started. Now there are no specific measurements as long as you have more water than rice. So I'm going to start with a fourth cup of black rice and thoroughly wash it to remove dirt and any impurities. Next I'm going to pour in two cups of purified water, add some essential oils to combat the fermented smell because it will start to smell like who did it and why after 24 hours. So I'll add a few drops of peppermint and tea tree oil. Give it a good stir and set it in a cool dark place for 24 to 48 hours. So fast forward, this is how it looks after fermentation. If you notice, it looks very soggy like it's cooked. So it's almost like the fermentation process cooks black rice, which is pretty cool. After draining the water off the rice, you get this very rich purple color that looks like grape juice. Just don't drink it. I did warm up the water before applying it because I have low porosity hair and this will help it to absorb and penetrate my hair strands better and get all the nutrients soaked into my hair. I'm just gonna pour the water over my hair, massage it in, and repeat three to four times. I'll also be using from Sultanicals their Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair Deep Conditioner with biotin, folic acid, and mega greens. And for my shampoo, which I did not show on camera, I also use from Sultanicals their Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo with fermented rice grains, biotin, and MSN. heat cap for 30 minutes and just let the ingredients of this deep conditioner just really sink and soak in 
And after that, I'm just going to style my hair as normal. So I'm not going to show that in the video. This video was really just to show how I make the rice water and how I apply it. And if I had been thinking, I would have done a length check just to let you know what my length is right now. But I did not do that. So I will do that on a follow-up video so you can see the length. And then over time, I'll just kind of update you on if this is actually growing my hair. But I will say this. I did pull the front of my hair down before I start to put the conditioner in. And the front portion of my hair actually now comes under my chin. Because initially when I cut my hair, it was kind of under my nose. So now it's under my chin. So my hair is growing, but it's not because of the rice water. I think it's just because of, I don't know, the ingredients of other products I've been using. And trimming my hair and just taking better care of my hair and just being more patient with my hair. I have to stay on top of my trimming because I noticed that's really been helping um, with my hair, the growth and just the overall health of my hair and the quality of my hair, my curls, and it's just making a world of difference. But anyway, the products I'm going to be using to style my hair will be from Uncle Funky's Daughter. You know I had to get this in the economy size. This is the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I've been showing you guys this for a little while now. I'm in love, in love, in love with this product. This is my number one go-to product for the summer, for the warmer months, hotter months. So this is definitely a fave. And I'll also be using from TGIN. This is the Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse, which this is the only mousse that seems to work in my hair of all the mousses that I've ever tried. So I will be combining these two together. So I just want to show you guys once again the whole rice water routine, how I make it, how I apply it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up this video because it does help my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Check out my Amazon store. I do have this black rice in my Amazon store, so definitely check it out. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.